Today I'd like to talk about how to onboard developers using the Layer 7 API portal. The Layer 7 API portal is built on the proprietary CMS that comes out of the box with a number of templates to help you get started. Uh, one of those templates you can see here is the homepage template that allows you to put your value prop right up there front and center for the developer to understand. We also provide you with a number of documentation templates that can help you lay out how the developer can interact with your APIs, including parameter lists and examples, things to help them understand. Other templates are things like code samples, so you can provide a code library, help them get started coding, and application gallery, give them ideas of where to start. But there's also a number of resources we provide as well. Things out of the box, like the API Explorer, allow you to provide an interactive way for the developer to interact with your back end and understand how to query and gain responses from that back end, interactively discover how to work with your APIs. And of course, we've also got a forum widget that's provided out of the box as well, so that you can provide things like developer support, or community support where developers can support developers. API discussion forums and recent announcements can be put in here too. Now if I was a developer and I looked through all these resources and decided this was for me, I might click the sign up button and I'm presented with a little form to fill out. I'm just going to go ahead and fill it out right now. Just use my own name here, my own Gmail account to get the message back. A password here. You can see it's warning me. I'll go ahead and choose another username that should be valid, I hope. And I'll click the accept disclaimer. And the next step button lights up. I'll go ahead and fill in a little bit of organization information. I'll just call it my co for my consulting organization here. Now I can actually go ahead and get started right away on an application. I can provide a name of an application, a description, and start working with some of the APIs that are available. I'm not gonna go ahead and get ahead of myself too far right now. I'll click the Register Now button, and it tells me that my registration is pending, and I'll be notified by email. I've got my inbox open right now, and I can see that there is indeed a thank you for registering on the Layer 7 portal. So I have a notification that's sent out to me. Now this is all completely up to you. Uh, there's workflow built into the API portal, which you can turn on or turn off. Uh, the templates that get sent out by the portal as well are completely customizable. In this case, we have a thank you for registering on the API portal, and it's under review and I'll be notified shortly. But you can change that message any way you want. I'll just go back to my inbox. Uh, I haven't got the notification yet telling me that I'm ready to go ahead and log in and that's because I set up a workflow whereby the business manager has to approve any new registrants. So I'm going to go ahead and log in right now as the business manager. I come to the business manager's desktop here. It shows me my dashboard link and I've got some tasks. It says two pending accounts. I'll go ahead and click one and I can see that there he is, Dana Crane, who wants to join the Layer 7 API portal. I'm going to go ahead and accept them. When I do that, I get a message approved, and it's removed from my queue. Now, that'll send an email back to my Gmail account. I'm going to go ahead and log out right now and see if that's come in. Here's the notification right now. It says my account registration was approved. Again, this is a message that you can completely customize yourself. In this case, I'm just going to go ahead and click on that link to activate my account. I'll use my username and I'll put in a password and I'll click the login button. So here I am. I'm now logged in as a developer. I'm on my dashboard here. And I see there's a number of messages that are, have been coming through. I can follow those. But I can also add my own widgets to this dashboard. For example, applications. I'm going to be wanting to create some applications, so I'll drop that on my dashboard. 
uh, API docs. I want to keep up with the latest changes to those API docs. I want to understand what's new, what's changed. And I also have an API status one that might be interesting. We'll close that up. And you can see here it tells me which APIs are currently up and running. It gives me an idea of when things might go on maintenance. I'll be able to see a red X rather than a green check mark there. So one of the things I can do right off the bat is create an application. I click on this. I can go ahead and add an application. But before I even get there, I probably want to enroll some people in my organization. So here's my company right now. I see that I'm the only member here. What I need to do is onboard some developers to help me build out those applications. So I'm going to click Invitations and invite a new user. I'll just use my Gmail account again. And I'll click Send Invitation to me. And I can see that now I've got an invitation pending. So I've just sent out an email to one of my colleagues. I can invite as many colleagues as I want here. We'll just send that one out for now. While I'm waiting for that to come into my Gmail account, I'm going to go ahead and click on that Applications button and start building one. So I'll put the name of application. We'll just call it, oh, just call it Test Application for now. And I'll just choose Acme Warehouse. So I'll just grab one of those APIs and I'll scroll through the EULA here and accept those terms of conditions. And I'll click Save. So now I've got my test application. It's working against the Acme Warehouse API, and I've got an API key for it as well. Now if I click on that API key and copy it, I can go back and use one of those resources I saw when I first came in. That was the API Explorer. There's the Acme Warehouse API, and if I just choose one of the resources associated with it, I can plug in the authentication needed to get to that back end. An API key. Okay. I'll paste in the value that I had, I'll click OK. Now if I execute this, I get back a list of products. So I know that that API key is valid, that that API is up and running, and I can actually build an application around it. But I don't want to build that application. I want to onboard a developer to help me. I'm going to log out of here for now, and I'll come back to my Gmail. Here we go. I've got an email in my inbox that says join my co on the layer 7 portal. Now if I click that, I've got an invitation link. I'll go ahead and click it. Remember, I'm now being asked to sign in as a contributing developer. So we'll just use another name. I'll use John Hamilton. And I'll give him a username and a password here. Again, we've got a registration EULA that I have to click through here. That's completely definable by you. I'll click the Accept Disclaimer and I'll register. My API portal is digesting that. And it should allow me to join MyCo on the Goods Warehouse portal once it's finished processing. And there it is. We're now being notified by email telling me that uh, my registration is pending. In the meantime, I'll go back and log in as the original registrant here. And here's my dashboard that I've already put together. There's that application I've already created, that test app that I created already. And I'll go ahead and check the organization here. And you can see that John Hamilton has been signed up. He's got handed the role of developer. His registration is pending approval. Again, that's part of the um, sign up process that has to go through a business manager to be approved. But John Hamilton has now been onboarded as developer and can start working with the test application to test it out for himself and build out a real application against that Acme Warehouse API.